Tis a sad day in the Volkswagen community, friends. It's been a while, I know. But we are thinning out the herd. These two are probably going to go to the crusher. I know, I know, I get it. But, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. You can't save them all, and some of them get squished. Sad day. Sad, sad day. For the record, these are both 1966 Bajas. And I don't know why, but something is screaming at me to go ahead and get... I want the uh, speedometer there and I want the fuel gauge there so I'm gonna attempt to pull those out without destroying the dash I know they're going to the crusher but I don't want to destroy them I'm weird like that and then Kirsten wants her steering wheel could probably take a few more things off of this car but uh, Really, really not worried about it. We had our fun with this one. One of these days we'll get bigger and better Bajas. So, until then. Here at V-Dub Pate's Place, we are the pinnacle of cleanliness and organization. Just so that you're aware. But when hoarding VW parts, do what you can to keep all the pieces together. I got the steering wheel. Now it's time for the other stuff. It's a good thing I decided to grab that speedometer. I found goodies. Got some window cranks and fuses, points. Is that a rotor? Let's see. Ooh, yep. Brand new spare points. <clears throat> so, you know, double check. Before you get rid of stuff. I really want the whole gas tank. But I'm taking that too. I should take the gas tank. I mean, honestly, I could take... I could take everything off of these cars. <laughs> I could spend all day out here stripping them. And the guy will show up to grab them and be like, uh, there's nothing left. Like, nah, that's cool. Just take the shells. It's all good. But, uh... I don't know. We'll see what else we find. So it seems to be, in my experience, almost everything comes apart easier than it goes together. Usually, unless you break something, it doesn't cost you nothing to take stuff apart. The cost comes into putting it back together. So, that being said, Like I said, this is a 1966 Volkswagen, and those are, as far as I know, original German pop-outs. And I want them. I would love to put pop-outs on that car. But I don't think that'll work. That's a 1974 Super Beetle. That's Bella. You guys should know her. Those of you who are new, that's Miss Bella. But like I was saying, I don't think you can put those pop-outs in that hole. I think the holes are different. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know. Do you know? I don't know. If you know, let me know. One of these days. I have, I have things in plan for this car. You know, we all do. <laughs>
and I got the pop outs. So, all kinds of goodies. And I just wanted to show you, underneath, there's a car, underneath. So we have this fiberglass buggy. I've got another engine. We've got that fiberglass buggy there, so don't think, you know, Plus my hoard of parts because one day I'll have time opportunity funding you know it's nice to have original parts but sometimes you need shiny new parts so thanks for watching if you want to give some words of encouragement or discouragement I don't care let me know let me know what you think I have I have plenty to do don't get me wrong I know but uh, you know things are on the upswing we went through a little downswing now we're back on the upswing so hopefully things will continue onward and upward hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching